Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to find the circumference of a circle from its diameter. This is a viewer requested video. If you have any video requests, be sure to leave them down in the comments. We begin with this beautiful circle, and this point here is the center of the circle. Remember that the circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. And a diameter of a circle is a line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle and that passes through the center of the circle. So this green line segment is a diameter of the circle because its endpoints both lie on the circle and it passes through the center. So a line segment like this is called a diameter of the circle. But the length of this line segment is often just called the diameter of the circle. That's because there are infinitely many diameters in a circle, but all of them have the exact same length. For this lesson, we'll let C represent the circumference of the circle, and we will let D represent the diameter, or the diameter length, of the circle. So C is the circumference, the distance around the circle, and D is the diameter length of the circle. And we're trying to find the circumference from the diameter length. To figure this out, all we have to do is remember our good friend pi. Remember that pi is just a number, and it's equal to the circumference of any circle divided by that same circle's diameter length. So if you take the circumference of any circle and divide it by the diameter length of that circle, you'll always get the same exact number, which is really quite fascinating, and we call that number pi. This character is a Greek letter, but it's sometimes just written using our letters pi for pi. So again, remember that pi is just a number. It's equal to the ratio of a circle's circumference to that same circle's diameter length which is approximately 3.14. But the decimal expansion of pi goes on infinitely, and the digits never follow a pattern, which is why if we're going to write it in decimal form, we have to approximate it. So if we want to work with the exact value of pi, we have to just settle for writing it like this. The number pi is not the subject of this video, so I won't say much more about it, but pi is what's called an irrational number. And if you haven't been introduced to pi before, I definitely recommend watching some more videos about it. So now we'll go on assuming you have a decent understanding of pi. Remember, it's just a number, a very special number, but a number nonetheless. Knowing this equation, that pi is equal to the circumference divided by the diameter length, is all we need in order to figure out the circumference. So what we want to do is solve this equation for c, the circumference. In order to do that, we just have to multiply both sides of this equation by d, in order to get rid of this division by d. So doing that, what we'll have on this side is just c, the circumference. And then that's equal to this side multiplied by d. That's just pi d. And then here we go. This is our formula for the circumference of a circle in terms of the diameter. If you know the diameter length of a circle, just multiply it by pi, and that is your circumference. So, for example, let's say that the diameter length of this circle is, let's say, 6 centimeters. Then, the circumference of this circle is equal to pi multiplied by that diameter length of 6 centimeters, which we'll generally want to write as 6 pi centimeters. And then if we wanted to write this in decimal form, remember that we'd have to approximate it, since we're multiplying by pi, but if we want to approximate it, it is about 18 0.85 centimeters. So the circumference of this circle with a diameter length of 6 centimeters is equal to 6 pi centimeters, which is approximately 18.85 centimeters. And again, remember that the number pi is equal to the circumference of a circle divided by the diameter length of the circle. From that, we get our formula for circumference. So if you know the diameter length of a circle, in order to find the circumference of the circle, all you have to do is multiply that diameter length by pi. So that's the formula. Circumference is equal to pi times the diameter length, and that's how it works. Let me leave you with an example to try on your own. Let's say that the diameter length of this circle is 12 centimeters. 
then what is the circumference of the circle? Let me know what you get down in the comments. That'll do it for today, so I hope this video helped you understand how to find the circumference of a circle from the diameter length of the circle. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Nothing is wrong that isn't